Um, but uh, on this pine log, um, uh, I've inoculated this with a type of oyster mushroom that grows on pine. So um, the process is the same, the procedure is the same uh, for these logs. Basically, if you want to grow mushrooms on a log, you have to have fresh logs, that's the first thing. You can't, can't take old logs because they all have, already have weed fungi growing in them. Um, you need fresh logs within, a, say, four weeks of cutting, or in this case, snapping off. Um, so you, and you need to get your, um, uh, the mycelium of your fungus in there uh, very quickly. Um, so uh, what I've done here is I, I've used plug spawn, um, uh, and that involved, I, and I bought that in because I didn't have anything suitable myself, because uh, I wasn't expecting this to come off, uh, come off the tree. Um, I bought that in, and if you buy in plug spawn, it basically will come in a plastic bag, and it's a, it's a load of little wooden dowels. That's the sort you use in woodworking with grooves down the sides, uh, with a, um, a white mushroomy mass growing amongst it, and that's the mycelium of the oyster mushroom in this case, and that's all in the grooves of the dowels. And you make lines of holes, tap in a dowel into each hole, seal it over. I now use pine resin to do that, uh, or you can use traditionally use wax, and leave it. And then you've got to leave the log um, in a, a, a place where it doesn't dry out too much for the fungus just to grow through it. And while that happens, you don't do anything, you just wait. So for a small log like this, it takes about six months or so. For a bigger log like this, probably about two years. So about now, really, I would expect. And in fact, you can see uh, that's, that's part of the mycelium of the oyster mushroom where the bark's come off there. And the bark's spongy all the way along, and that's the mycelium of the oyster mushroom underneath the bark um, growing well. So. Um, with a log like this, out in the open, and with oyster mushroom, you can't make it produce mushrooms. It will do it when it wants to. That's when environmental conditions are right. It is usually late autumn or early winter. Um, so I should get the first crop uh, later this year. Uh, and mushrooms will just start popping out from anywhere, not where the holes were made, anywhere in the bark this year. Uh, and they will continue to do so every year until the mushroom has decomposed the log, because that's what the fungus is doing. It's gradually decomposing the log. It just happens to give us nice edible mushrooms as well at the same time. Um, uh, and this uh, pine is quite a dense wood, so it'll probably take about 10 years or so. So there should be crops for about 10 years uh, in the order of, of 10 to 15 kilos a year, that kind of order, um, for an investment of about 15 quid in, in, uh, in inoculant. So it's actually it's, 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 it's very good value over the lifetime. Um, with shiitake logs, um, these are actually manageable, so once, once you've rest, let, let it have it six months for the fungus to grow through it, you can actually make these produce mushrooms when you want. You basically soak them in water, uh, uh, maybe for 24 hours or so, and then hit them. Either hit them on the, mallet, on the end with a mallet, very hard, several times, or if, you, if you've got a concrete floor or a concrete slab, you can whack it against that. Um, and then mushrooms will pop out about a week later. Uh, and if you don't hit it, you might get one or two mushrooms, but you won't get many. Um, and um, that is standard Japanese technique where they grow shiitakes, or have been for hundreds of years. Uh, and I think what's happening there is you're fooling the fungus into thinking it's attacked a branch on a tree, the branch has fallen to the forest floor, and that initiates fruiting uh, uh, of mushrooms. Um, I think that's what's going on anyway. And, and it is well known that fungus can detect shock. Don't ask me how, but it, it can. Um, so, um, and then you can you, you rest this log for three months, and then you can do it again. So you can actually get three three crops a year out of out of a log like that. So I have a lot of these stacked up behind my polytunnel. They don't need to be in, in a light position. Mushrooms do not need light to grow. You can have them in a dark place under under some dark conifers or something where you can't do anything else. You know, in a garden, and you, then you have your mushroom stack store so there. So they need um, conifers. No, 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 they'll grow on uh, deciduous or coniferous wood, mm -hmm. but you, you need a different strain for coniferous wood than deciduous wood, so you just make sure you get the right strain. But that's, that's not a problem. And if I'm buying in inoculant, I get it from a, um, uh, a woman called Ann Miller in Scotland, uh, Ann Miller Speciality Mushrooms. She's really good, has a good website and is very knowledgeable um, about log cultivation and other cultivation of mushrooms as well. So um, it's, a, it's a really nice way of a fast way of converting wood into food, basically. Okay. The seasonal stream 